While I was in Washington, the Kraft Theater of the Air had bought Only the Heart and done a production of it. And um, I hadn't been too pleased. It seemed to me very flat. I don't know how to explain it. You, you didn't adapt that for television? They just did the play, I think. I don't remember. It was very, uh, I, no, I didn't adapt it. But nobody else adapted it either. I mean, they just did it. So you watched, what was it like watching your play on television, knowing it's going out to millions of people? Well, it really wasn't millions of people in those days. It really wasn't. And we were well aware of that, because so people had sets. I didn't have a set. I don't know, I think I watched it in the studio in New York. I came into New York to see it. Uh, I, I, I kept thinking of it as a way for theater people to survive in New York. That's, I hate to tell you, that's really how I thought about television. And I thought that's a wonderful place for all these wonderful actors to, when they're not working in theater to get, make a little money. And we had a very good cast. Um, I don't remember any of the names, but I remember they were very good working actors, and I was delighted about that. Jack Ewing, uh, Isabel Price. I don't remember either of those two. Dorothy Dor Sands. Drew Dorothy Sands. I remember her very well, but she was very good. Isabel Robbins. Don't remember. Um, what was the attitude that uh, people in the theater had regarding television? that point? I don't, I don't think they had an attitude. I really think they thought if you were an actor, or, or in my case, a writer, which at that time I had no idea I'd be associated with it ever again. And I certainly would have been very cautious again about letting them do something of mine. I didn't think they did it badly. They just did it like a stock company. You know, it was more, I don't know how much they rehearsed it even. I don't know. Um, it really, for me, wasn't, uh, I enjoyed the working with Jerry Cooper Smith because he was very bright and he had a certain, we had a, created a certain excitement because of the actors we worked with and because Martin Stone was very uh, supportive. Um, but really it wasn't until I began to work with Fred Cole that I began to catch the television fever, so to speak, because he brought such vitality to it and he had such a sense of, of its possibilities. But up until then, I, I mostly was worried about my plays on getting productions, and I, you know, any little help, financial help I could get, I was grateful for, but I never thought about television. <laughs>